look at this transmission. This is a typical marine transmission for a diesel inboard engine. In this shaft, I have, this is the coupling for the shaft and the propeller. And what is this? Input, input shaft. shaft Where is connected that input shaft? This one with the flex plate. And this one, and this one with the shaft, okay? This is the output shaft. Ready? And here, and here, is located the pump for, here is the handle for forward, neutral, and reverse. What is this, That's guys? The PTO. The, the, PTO. the PTO. Input fluid, output fluid. That's okay? When the fluid is going out, it's going where? To the cooler. And from the cooler, return here. You remember? Yesterday, in the Caterpillar transmission and uh, Cummins transmission, both of them, they have coolers. Okay, pay attention. Forward, neutral, and reverse. And that element is connected with the handle. That's the chip, that, that's clear? Mm -hmm. Ah, this, this one, that one, a small one, this is the, the, the control valve. Mm -hmm. It's not solenoid, because I don't have solenoid. It's manual, it's manual, you know? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Neutral, forward, and reverse. And this is the PTO, and this is the, the control valve. That's correct, okay? And this is the, the output shaft. And in the output shaft, I have the coupling. And I am going to remove the housing of this transmission. Okay, guys, look at this. This is, this is input shaft, and this is output shaft. Ready? And I have two clutch packs. Two clutch packs. One clutch pack for forward, and other clutch pack for reverse. Look at this, guys. I am going to remove one clutch pack. Remember that uh, on top of those clutch packs, you have what? The pump. The pump. Yeah? Look at this. The oil, the oil enter at high pressure here. This is a spring. You see the ball with the spring? Yep. It's a check valve. The oil enter at high pressure from the pump enter in the clutch pack and return here in the pump in the forward and reverse look at this in this moment fluid is coming in in the check valve fluid is coming in in this moment no, no. no. this this output is look at this <coughs> this is free free this is free because oil is not entering if oil enter at high pressure the oil enter in the clutch pack here. Mm -hmm. And what happened when the clutch pack is compressed? And this one and this one are engaged and they turn together. This is the typical clutch pack. Look, the oil enter at high pressure, some oil goes out through here and the, the rest of the oil return here. And compress the dicks here. Here, inside of this, you have those dicks. You see? A stainless steel, friction, a stainless steel, friction, a stain, yeah? It's a combination of, look at this. The stainless steel, the chaff for the stainless steel enter here. And the chaff for the friction enter here. You know? Ah, okay. One chaff is together with the external. Other chaff is together with the internal. Ah, okay. If but both dicks as compressors. For the oil, what happened with this chaff and this chaff? Together, together at the same. If the, if the pressure here is, is, is nothing, what happened with this chaff with respect to this? This is a spinning and this one no. You understand? This is the clutch pack. In this moment, I don't have pressure entering here. And this one is free with respect to this. Ah, when the oil enter, what happened with the clutch? Compress and this one turn together. Nice, no? Pay attention, look. This one is for forward and this one for reverse. When I connect the pump here, now it's in neutral. What happened with the oil when the oil is coming from the pump? Enter here and return into the oil pan. It's, it's moving like this and like this and like this, but it's not entering here and not entering here. Ah, what happened when I select reverse? 
Ah, the oil enter in this cloth pack. And this cloth, cloth pack is, is together. Mm -hmm. Or if I move like this, enter in this cloth pack. Okay, if the oil enter here in this one, if this one is engaged, if this one is engaged, this is the input shaft. When the input shaft is moving, move that one, and this one is the output shaft. Ah, if this one is engaged, rotate in the opposite direction. This is for reverse, and this is for forward. You like it? Difficult, this transmission? You have one close pack for forward, and other close pack for reverse. You don't have torque converter in, in this marine uh, uh, transmission. OK, we are going to think in troubleshooting. The customer, uh, the captain complained that the transmission only engaged in forward. In reverse, nothing. The captain connect reverse, accelerate, and nothing. OK, pay attention. What is the procedure to troubleshoot that transmission? Well, you need to ask to him. That transmission in the control, the selection forward, neutral, and reverse have solenoids or not? No, no solenoid. It's completely mechanical. It's only the handle. No? Ah, uh, OK. If it's mechanical, if it's mechanical, no solenoid, probably the problem is in one of the close pack. One of the close pack is not working. It's clogged. It's, it's clogged or uh, let me check with the dipstick. Oh, it's milky. Yeah. Yeah, one close pack is damaged right now, but the other one will be damaged tomorrow. <laughs> you disconnect the cable and you move it with your hand. Okay. Okay, turn on the engine, Captain. Okay, forward. Uh, bam. Okay, bam. Okay, now it's the cable. Okay. The transmission is good. Remember, isolate is the problem isolate. with the boat. Yeah. Or you move it forward, bam, engage. Nothing. Ah, it's here. Yeah. It's here. Okay, what is the secret to keep this transmission running in good condition? The quality of the oil. For that reason, check periodically the oil. That oil, the oil of the transmission, uh, I recommend once per year, oil sample and send to the laboratory. No? What is the, the metal dispersed in the oil sample that indicate that this friction material is gone on the clutch pack? What is the main component of that friction material? It's silica, nickel, copper, yeah? Oh, I have high level of copper. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. High level of silica, bingo, no friction material. And the color is brown, finito. OK, excuse me, I have a question. If, uh, if I check the oil in this transmission and immediately I found a uh, milky oil, where is the problem? The cooler. Pretty sure. The cooler. Yeah, no. the, cooler. the cooler. The transmission cooler. No? Finito. Or, in some cases, uh, a lot of water enter in the bilge of the boat and reach the level of the transmission. That's, that's, that's possible. Look at this. Pay attention. If the oil, the oil is, the flow of oil is in my fingers. If the oil enter here in the middle, you see the middle, they have a small group in the middle. The oil enter here and return a little here, but uh, no pass over there. You know? What happened if the solenoid connected here move it in this position. The oil goes here and activate the forward clutch back. What happened if the plunger move it in this position? The oil goes here and activate the reverse. You know, is this is this is the plunger connected to the solenoid valve. You remember yesterday this element? This is the brain. This is the body of valves, no? And you remember that I said that you have one solenoid for forward, other for first gear, other for second gear. Look at this. This is the plunger. Look. This is the plunger for reverse. No? You see the plunger? Exactly the same like the previous one. Allow that the fluid goes here or here. And with a solenoid like this, with a solenoid like this, yeah? Look at this. I did exactly the picture of that equipment. You remember the close pack, no? The oil entered in one, compressed the pack, and the oil returned to the, oh, yeah? Depending on the position. If, if, in this moment, what happened with this position? That position is, is neutral. 
when this one is moved here in this position, is for forward. When it's moving in this position, it's for reverse. And the plugger could be connected with a handle or with solenoid. What is the name of this element if you have a couple of solenoids? It's the solenoid control valve or solenoid drive valve or solenoid selector valve. A lot of names for the same. Excuse me, I have a solenoid here. One terminal is negative and the other one is positive. I want to connect my control in the console of my boat. This is the, the control. The control have three terminals. And uh, how can I connect that, that control with the solenoid to activate forward here and reverse here? Pay attention, what happened with that, that control? That control, sophisticated control, is like this. This position for forward, this position for reverse. And what happened in the middle? Excuse me? 12 volts coming in. Thank you. 12 volts coming in. Ah, I have positive here coming from the constant positive boost bar. You remember? And one of these here for forward and other here is a switch. In the switch you don't have negatives. Okay, let me, let me...